finally. It's the thousand bushel grain cart I always wanted. And it even drives itself to the elevator. I love it. Doesn't have an auger though. Well, the old New Holland's coming to save the day. He's finishing my beans up for me. He already had his combine out here, so it kind of just made sense to do it this way. Morning. Last night, uh, drove that home. It needed to come home from the uh, field it was in, get it back to the farm. The farm's literally right there. My pickup's hooked up to a trailer. So I thought, you know what? Just pull the combine in the driveway and when I go to work in the morning, just drive it down to the farm. So my pickup grew a little bit last night. Well, we're done with this one for a while. All unhooked, setting it down. Actually, we're gonna pick it back up because I forgot to put blocks under it. I need to do that. So we're gonna put blocks under it and then, then we're gonna set it down. Intermission. Unhooked. So the reason I put it on blocks is because I didn't want my stock stompers. They've got springs in there and I didn't want them basically getting stretched so lifted it up with some uh, cinder blocks also got a new seed tender it's a four box tender on a sketchy gooseneck trailer but uh, we'll make it work we'll pretty it up a little bit too so yeah got that one cheap no matter what I do around here there's always something parked in my way that's parked in my way. It needs fuel and so does the combine. So we're about to go through about, yeah, probably close to 500 gallon. Fueling, slowly. Cool thing about this tractor is it actually has a sight glass for the fuel tank too. But I mean, just look at that combine. That thing is thick. I like it. I like those new tires a lot. Half the wheels and tires and rims that you know can have issues and there's something to be said for simplicity now we just got to weld up the draper head patch it back together for the last 30 40 acres and uh we're gonna send it in the beans today but uh a little bit of a do this morning so we're not gonna be sending it anytime soon with uh with this weather so what happened is this roller here it drives the center belt. I think a rock or something with that dent right there. I'm pretty sure that a rock got in here and it smashed it and cracked it. So I'm not the best welder whatsoever, but we've at least filled the crack. I had to build that up a little bit because there was actually a hole there. So I built that up and we're going to grind it down and lay another bead over it. Again, I am not a professional welder, but if this limps me by for the next 30 acres, so be it, I'm good with that. So, it isn't perfect, but it is straight and it rolls smooth. So, all we can do is really try it. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't, but I can't get parts for it regardless. So, if we get 10 acres cut and that's just 10 more acres we wouldn't have got cut otherwise, so it's turning. That's the main thing. So we are hammering down 4.95 mile an hour at a time, and we are flat eating the beans. Um, I got Jordan with his New Holland. He's in the field right over across the road from me. He's cutting those and I'm cutting these. So we are hoping to finish soybeans today. We've got one semi coming. Uh, hired a guy to do some trucking with his truck. And we're gonna see if we can't get some more today too. So it's what we're hoping for. We're really hoping and really pushing to finish soybeans today. And then I will be done for the year. So we're trying hard. 
We might make it, we might not. As long as the equipment holds together and we can keep the trucks going, we definitely can. But lots of moving today, lots of patches. It appears he's got it beans that are as dusty as me. This state ground, it would be more fun to run two combines in one field, but as small as these fields are, we'd just be in each other's way. So I don't know that we'll do that a whole lot, but I'd say this next field, or actually the field that I just opened up, I'd say we might do that in, because I think he's about done here. So I don't know, we'll see. Good thing we got a cart driver, but we're gonna keep him on his toes today with two combines. Getting her done. He's rolling up there, I'm rolling down here, and I gotta say, it's pretty fun running two combines in one field. Especially with a grain cart driver, semi drivers. This is what the big time operators get to feel like. Pretty good. I mean, this is just pretty enjoyable, really. I believe that he plugged his head in his feeder house. Looked like he was running the reverser. If he's still there next round, we'll help him out. But the next round pretty much knocked this field out, so. Making progress. Come on, Kurt, come on. We're gonna double dump, which will fill that cart like really quickly. Another field knocked out, six more to go. Pretty fun stuff out here. He's got his little boy in there with him. And we are ready to roll. Time to dump. On to the next one. Doubled down, hammered down, just giving her, just giving her. He's running like three and a half mile an hour, four mile an hour. I'm running right at five, which I could run a little faster and I think he's kind of maxed out, but I don't know. I don't like running much faster than that. Nothing beans. There's too much that you there's too much that can go wrong and we're too close to done to have anything go wrong. So he's 25 foot and I'm 30, so we're knocking them out pretty quick. Those TRs are really, really good combines too. I don't have a bad thing to say about them. Uh, we ran a TR-88. That's what I cut my teeth on getting started. The first combine I really ever ran. And uh, first combine I got my first crop out with and all that. They were really good combines. I had a TR-88. I didn't, it wasn't actually my combine, it was the guy that helped me get started farming. Um, but uh, we traded that, basically used his TR-88 as trade-in, and then I paid the difference and got the 2388. And uh, that was a really good combine too. But really like those TRs. Um, get a really clean sample out of them. They're just, they're really good machines. They're simple. But... Uh, they don't have near the capacity that these newer ones do, but nonetheless, they're they're great machines. And the one that's running with me today is actually a TR-98, so it's a size bigger than the one we used to have. So, 25 foot, and he's cooking right along, so we're knocking out some acres pretty quick. Well, that didn't take very long. I mean, this field's only like, I don't know, five acres or something like that, so. But, uh, 55 feet worth of head running out here. Doesn't take that long. Shuffling. We got about a, I don't know, not even a quarter mile to the next field, so he's just gonna go block the road and we're gonna run up there with the heads on. Well, we're gonna fly through this five acres really quickly. Cart sitting there waiting on us. Won't take us long. Yeah, he just hollered on the radio and said, hey, I got a problem. I got diesel fuel all over the side of the combine. 
we may be down to one combine the rest of the day but we're down to like maybe 15 acres left so as long as this old girl holds together we will finish harvest today fingers crossed <laughs> What do you say? I don't know if it's still leaking or not. He says it is. Not good. Well, we cobbed it back together for now. So, now uh, this is nostalgic right now, sitting in this thing. For those of you that have followed from the very beginning, you remember this view except his head's 20 foot, or 25 foot, and mine was 20, but these were the days. Ah, this is a good combine. Good, good combine. Unfortunately, we actually have to drop the head for this next one, so that's what we're doing. Uh-oh, we're about to meet another combine, so this is gonna get interesting. Well, we made it. It was a 92.30. I was in an 8230, but I think they're the same size, so it was a little bit tight on this road. But we made it. We're pulling out all the stops. We even got the 10-wheeler here. That's his truck. So, the car, two combines, three, uh, yeah, three semis, a 10-wheeler. We knocked out a lot of acres really quick today. And his fuel line's fixed. It, uh, it's cobbed together, but we fixed it. On to the last field, or, well, we got four left, but they're all right here, and they're all less than five acres, so not much left. It's going to feel good to get done. Well, we're both rolling again. Makes a lot of dust with two bean combines in one field. Two more fields. We got this field here, and that field there, and that's it. That is it. So we are in the final stretch nothing catastrophic happens but it's it's happened before so i don't want to speak too soon well i guess there's a line to dump but we're full getting lots of radio chatter too gotta get the youtube clips it's a bit dusty air filter restriction we got five acres left. We're not going to worry about that. We're just going to send it. Here we go. Second to last pass. We got one strip left. There it is, it's the last pass. Gotta love it. I gotta say, it feels good to be done. It feels real good to be done. We're gonna try and get his combine empty so he can take it home. We're gonna use mine as a grain cart. Hopefully it clears. It's gonna be close. Well, we're out here moving the uh, half-ass acres Graber division back north of uh, 50. The Clark Farms division of half-ass acres is currently only half moved to the farm. Uh, Brandon is on his way back with the Volvo from ADM. The cart and my combine are full. We actually dumped the New Holland combine into the hopper of my combine. It was sketchy, but it all fit. So my combine is literally couldn't hold another bean the cart is the same way so there's not quite a semi load but it'll be full enough to send down to newberg in the morning i'll probably have brandon take that again in the morning he is pulling over so i assume that he's either downshifting for this hill or meeting a car and i don't see headlights so i'm not sure what's going on anywho 
yeah, he's downshifting for this hill, I'd say. Yeah, I don't know. Straight truck just passed us, though. I presume that's what was going on. But uh, we are getting everything moved home. Um, feels good to be done. Trying to get everything under a roof tonight. And, uh, yeah. It'll be uh, nice to have everything under a roof. I want to get my combine at least. If the cart gets rained on tonight, I don't care. But I want to get the combine under a shed because I want to get it blown off before it gets wet. It'll be a lot easier to clean up that way. So if I can hit it with a leaf blower uh, tomorrow, and then I'll get the power washer out and start on that. And then we'll get it washed and waxed and tucked back in the shed and all that fun stuff. So feels good to be done. Now it's just the machinery shuffle. We've got three semis, a straight truck, two grain carts, two combines, two head carts, and all that has to go to two separate farms, so yeah, we're, we're playing the uh, machinery shuffle now, getting everything where it needs to be. He's done for the year, I'm done for the year, so we're all happy, we're all hungry, it's already dark, it's six o'clock, but you know, that's daylight savings for you leave it to the government to cut a foot off one end of the blanket and sew it on the other and tell you it's a foot longer but so be it six o'clock and dark out but we're done with harvest and that's the main thing so life's good can't complain headed home barely clearing the power lines but headed home makes me nervous every time i drive under that one you wouldn't want to do it with the uh hopper extensions up but uh carts behind me got a flagger ahead of us all that's left is two pickups out on the state ground and there's three of us right now so we'll take one pickup out and grab the other two everything will be home tucked in the shed before it starts raining and life will be good so yeah happy harvest because it's over well it started to come down pretty good this morning just went and closed the last of the grain bins definitely happy that we finished up harvest yesterday because this doesn't make for ideal bean cutting weather so I'm glad we uh, made that push yesterday and wrapped them up let it rain I was planning on doing some tillage today but it can wait it's just supposed to rain today and we're only supposed to get like a half inch and it's supposed to be sunny for like the next week or so so still probably get some done maybe i don't know we'll see all right well thank you guys for watching this video i hope you enjoyed this season this is the end of harvest minus a couple acres that i forgot about and just combined like the other day which is december today's december 8th so yeah a couple days ago i combined like two acres of beans that i forgot about but other than that this is the end of harvest so Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. And I will now have time to get more of these posted. So lots of tillage and miscellaneous stuff coming up. So thanks for watching. Catch you next time.